In this tutorial video, we show you quickly how you can generate uh, architecture diagrams from Eiffel Studio. So basically, assuming that your project already compiled, you will see there's a diagram tag at the end of this. Uh, initially, it's simply just auto height, so you have to lock it uh, in the dock, uh, docking area. So if you go over here, besides the cross, there's a pin over there, disable auto height. If you click on that, so now you can see it's fixed over here, right? Okay, in case you don't see the diagram tag for your Eiffel Studio, you may want to re uh, reset your layout to default. You can simply go to View and go to Tools Layout and then reset the Tools Layout. So this will be very useful in case you don't see the diagram tag. Okay, assuming that we have already uh, locked the uh, diagram tag over here, so this is how we can uh, do the diagram. First of all, you uh, basically just drag and drop. Let's say I want to include two clusters. What I can do is I can right click on sorted collection, for example, and then right click, now left click, uh, right click, and then right click again to say pick cluster sorted collection, and then you want to right click on the uh, diagram area over here, right click, okay? It's like a drag and drop, so called, okay? And you want to make sure you also target to the cluster. So I want to go to click on target to cluster or class, okay? Click on that. Okay, so now let's try again. So right click on the sorted collection cluster, right click to pick the cluster, and then right click to dra uh, drop them into the diagram area. Okay, so this is how you can get this particular cluster. And then you may want to show the uh, cluster uh, itself. So you can simply go to uh, show clusters. Okay, so this is how you see the cluster over here. Okay, so now how do we include another cluster? Okay, let's see exactly how we can do it. Of course, you can organize the, uh, the diagram a little bit to make it look nicer, okay? We also got a root cluster by default over here, okay? So let me just move the root cluster over here. If you want to delete it only from the diagram, I think you can just right click on that and then you can say remove that from the diagram. Let's see if we have that option there, okay? You want to say remove from diagram. Don't say delete. If you say, de if you say delete, it's going to delete from your projects, okay? Just say remove from diagram. So we don't have this cluster over here. Okay, you want to remove from diagram. Okay, good. So now, well, let's try one more. So now we only got one cluster for sorted collections. How do we include, let's say, student design as well? Okay, so again, you right click on the cluster and right click to pick the cluster and then right click to drop to the diagram area. Okay, so now we got two cluster over here. Okay, you can see apparently we got the uh, client supplier relationship uh, relation arrows, which is a green one, and also we got an inheritance, which is a right, uh, red arrow. You can choose to either show them or not to show them. If I click on the one to say high supplier links, you can see the green arrows goes away. If I say click on the red one to say high inheritance link, they also go away. You want to show them, just click back on this. Okay, so after this, you can uh, include as many clusters as necessary, and then eventually you can simply go for export the diagram to PNG, and then you can, uh, that'll be ready for your submission, okay? So it's mainly just for you to know how to do the right click to pick and drop.